Believe it or not, what you're looking at right now is Fortnite. And I truly believe that what we're exploring in this video is going to change the gaming industry in many positive ways. To keep it simple, Epic Games a couple days ago revealed and released the Unreal Engine for Fortnite tool. Anyone can download it for free, publish experiences, game modes and make money from their creations. And with it, you can make pretty much anything that you desire in Fortnite, importing custom and existing models, custom animations, custom scripting, Call of Duty type game modes on COD maps, super hot type game modes where time only moves when you do, Peter Griffin dancing, even dirt bike racing across vast sand dunes. And what's cool about this is that you can use and build on any of the existing gameplay mechanics in the game already. They've essentially opened the floodgates here. Think of it in a similar vein as Roblox, but on a triple A engine. UE5 and on top of that they're offering creators who publish in Fortnite Creative a slice of 40% of the net revenue that the game generates. Now imagine what people could come up with here in a year or two. Their own awesome original experiences. So today I'm going to play through three scenarios that Epic have published to demonstrate the wide variety of experiences possible. You're going to be surprised at what you're about to see. Drop a like if you enjoyed the vid, leave a comment below how you feel about this and let's dive right in. So this one is Domination, completely changed the color palette and it's pretty much Call of Duty Domination. Is that guy just AFK? Looking at the moon maybe. But yeah, so we've got three flags and I think this is up to 16 players in total. It's got different loadouts on it as well. Where are you going lady? Got him. Tricky one that was. Yeah, so this is a very similar environment to the clip that I just showed you. Sniper up there. At the start, you know where they were fighting the robot. But now it's in the daytime. And imagine that this is first person. Ooh, okay, got him. There's a sniper nest here. Look, you can pick up the big sniper rifle. Need the headshot for the... What the hell? Was that a fighter jet? Drop the bomb or something. Yeah, these are the different loadouts you can pick. Plenty of options there to mix up your play style or whatever. Pretty straightforward this one, but it's a proof of concept, you know? That this type of gameplay is possible here. Second grenade got him. <laughs> Hello, mate. Oh, lovely headshot. One more kill maybe before it ends. Ah, uh, we got the win. Let's go. Now, this experience is called Forest Guardian. And <laughs> I tell you what, if there was no user interface on the screen and I wasn't using this John Wick Fortnite skin, you would not know that this was Fortnite. Oh, there's a dragon. But that's all a custom model with animations and scripting and stuff. Damn, this looks good. I mean, this is maxed out on PC. The wolves over there. So it's got ray tracing, it's got nanite, all that good stuff. I think it uses lumen too. I go kill these walls. Whoa. Beautiful. Look at the lighting. Whoa. I'm gonna go. So go down here. There's some pink lights down here. And some boars. Do a little smash attack. Come here. Got him. All right, mate. Oh, that's freaky. I don't like that. There's a bow there. The boom bow, did that say? So I think this bow is already in Fortnite, but I suppose that's a good example of how you could use existing gameplay things that are in Fortnite and build upon them. So, for example, in this scenario, you might change the model so it was a samurai bow or something, right? Or a medieval bow and change the explosive effect on it or something like that. This statue is pointing over there. Can I go down there? I mean, I've picked up a sword and a bow already. What do you want, mate? Oh, you've just sat down. Oh, there's frogs. Frogs. What are we doing here? They're just frogs. Sometimes a frog is just a frog. That's what my granddad used to say to me. He didn't. I don't think anyone's ever said that to me. 
Does it even mean anything? I don't know. All right, let's go back up to the main path here. Oh, it looks good, doesn't it? I think that waterfall could do with a few more frames per second on that effect. So, get through here. Oh, you can damage that. Oh, man. Oh, some walls here. Eat it. Yes, explosive bow. There's another statue there. He's pointing down here, so I'm just going to go down here. Wow, look at this. Oh, the dragon's back. He's guarding an egg as well. Look at that. I mean, it is Easter soon, right? Let's go. Smash. Oh, these ones are a bit tankier than the last. Oh, it did a bit of damage to me there. I can block as well. Use the boat. Stay back. Oh, watch out. 50 HP. Two left. Did we get them all? I think we did. What do you want, dragon? Open that mouth. You're immune. Give me your egg. What the hell? Please, I just want the egg. It's gone. <laughs> that's so awesome. The fact that this is Fortnite. Uh, I mean, that's just incredible. That's so cool. And this is the final one that Epic featured. This one is called The Space Inside. It's said to be kind of a horror game mixed with control it's quite dingy and grungy as you can see and they've letterboxed it as well turn on flashlight oh man the lighting in ue5 is pretty nuts it's locked well guess what there's a key Oh, scary. Time for the jump scares. Oh, it's a lovely room. We're in first person. Suddenly first person. There's a switch here. Can't break it or anything. Is that locked? Where did we go? There's a gun. We have a gun. Can I shoot that then? Oh yeah, pull the lever. What the? Some light reading, perhaps? It's a secret entrance. <laughs> okay, that's a spike wall. I presume that's going to kill me. See you later, sucker. <laughs> we're out of there. <gasps> right now we're in the mines. It's a dead end. Where do we go? The wall's still moving there. Kind of sad that I've lost my flashlight. It's right there, look. Can't I just pick it up? Surely I could pick it up. Turn that on elevator we're going down johnny wick is on the way into the fortnite horror game <laughs> i need to see john wick for i haven't seen it yet everyone says it's really good like the best one so oh oh it's so shiny locked hmm the pipe is missing Fixed pipe. Look at this little cutscene. So I need to find a pipe. Ray tracing in full effect there. 
Oh, there's a pipe. Gorgeous. Was that opened it? Gonna be a horrible monster, isn't there? Behind me? I was ready for the monster then. Apparently not. <laughs> Door locked. There's got to be a way to open it. that do it? I see the end. Are we through? Little puzzle room? What is this? And now I'm out in the street somewhere. Interesting. The Cat Cave Diner. That's back inside. So this, I suppose, could be a trippy sci-fi detective game with a mix of art styles. Love those LED lights there. Here we go. Uh, what? <laughs> Shoot that. Uh. It's just a black room. It's Tron? Tron Legacy. Oh, I'm on a lift. That's making some lovely stairs there. It's so bright. Oh. All sorts of doors to different universes, perhaps. Wow. And then out we go into space by the looks of it. Whoa. Oh, we escaped the Matrix. Or is it the Truman Show? Well, that was cool. Nice way to demonstrate how different you can make it look compared to the previous two that we just played, you know? So there we have it. That's Unreal Engine for Fortnite Creative as it stands on release. Some of the experiences out there at the moment. Crazy, really, to think about all of the possibilities here. This could open many doors for budding game designers and potentially pave the way for brand new games and game modes entirely. With that said, thank you so much for watching. Drop a like below, leave a comment, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.